shut off. I called it the bandit sloop. Here we go, guys. It's gonna be a little tight. What's going on y'all? Bayou Bandit back again. Tonight we're in Mississippi waters. We're going to try to do a little flounder gigging. Water clarity is not good. We had about three or four days of rain. It's been about three days after the rain. Water's still not good guys. We're going to cover some ground. We're going to find some decent water. It might not be the best footage in the world, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, we're starting round two of our uh, free fishing trip drawing. Uh, it's going to be every 100 subscribers, guys, from here on out. Uh, I think that's how I'm going to do it. It's going to be the winner plus one. Uh, you can take your buddy, your husband, your wife, your father, your son, whatever. That's just uh, a little way for me to give back to y'all, my subscribers, uh, in appreciation for subscribing to my channel. And if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. So uh, we're going to see what we can do, guys. See if we can find some decent water. Uh, the plan is, you know, we're allowed 10 flounder in the state of Mississippi. So I'm going to try to get five with a gig, five with a bow. And uh, I think the blue crabs have finally moved in. And if I can get some crabs, I'm going to try to do that. So thank y'all. And uh, let's see what we can do, fellas. All right, guys. <clears throat> the water's stained. Not good, but we found our first flounder. We're going to ease up here to him. See if we can get some decent footage of him. I've got an underwater light, which I think will help the situation a little bit for some better, better footage. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to get the best footage we can. You see the flounder right there, y'all? Y'all see him? He's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can adjust my underwater camera. I'm out underwater. Uh... There he is, guys. Here we go. He's in soft mud. So I'm going to twist my gig when I pull up where I don't lose him. There we go, guys. There we go. All right, first flounder of the night. Sitting on 17 inches. Yep, 17 inches, guys. Gig right in the head. That's what you're looking for. And guys, this is a Carlson gig. Jim Carlson gigs. He makes the best gigs money can buy. That's a lifelong gig. What about what came pole? And this is my old 160 quart cooler. I've had some people comment asking about my fish box. I made the lid. The original lid blew off going down the highway so I made me a lid and I've got my flounder rake mechanism that works great for the flounder and what it is guys is just a piece of stainless steel that I cut out and I bolted to it I put some uh, Gorilla Glue adhesive on it and I bolted and screwed it with some smaller lag bolts all the way around. 
and uh, it works great guys it's all I need I've been using it for shoot four or five years guys and it works works very very well let's get another one oh he's scooting off I'm gonna have to get him guys <sighs> Didn't I? Couldn't waste any time with him. He was moving. Didn't get a good gig on him. But I was trying to get a good camera shot on him. But wasn't able to. They on the move tonight, guys. Let's get another one. All right, I had I gig one off camera, guys. The boat was going over him, and I know he would have been gone if I hadn't gigged him quick. Sitting on about 17 and a half, guys. Flounder number three. There he is, right there, guys. There we go, guys. Good bacon sized flounder. Probably, probably about fourteen inches. Yep, 14 and a half. Good size for baking, guys. Or just uh, fry them whole. Let's see if we can get a good gig on him. There we go, guys. Flounder number five. Sixteen inch flounder. That makes flounder number five. In the box. I told y'all at the first of the video we was gonna get five with the gig and then swap over to the bow and see if we can get five with the bow. So let's see what we can do guys. Let me break out the old bow. All right, guys, we got the bow out, put the gig up. 
and we're gonna see if we can shoot us a flounder with a bow look at there guys there's a flounder right there and to get off the platform make it a little bit easier for me see him right there guys boom baby good head shot on that flounder y'all right there that's what you're looking for no meat wasted we're looking at a calm down we're looking at a 15 inch fish first flounder hit with the bow we're going to loosen that barb up that point up turn the barb around let him slide right off all right four more to go and we got a limit y'all there we go guys Flounder number seven. Flounder number seven. Right there, y'all. Under number seven, which is the second one with the bow. Typical springtime size, about 15 inch fish. Three more guys, we'll have our limit. All right, guys, we got another flounder right there. He's close. I'm going to let him go. We got, we got two more to get our limit, and I want them to be bigger fish. So we're not going to mess with him. I am going to ease up there a little bit closer. See if y'all can see him a little bit better. get my arrow he's over here y'all see his eyes see his two eyes right there guys watch him watch him take off I'm going to barely bump his back He's not moving, guys. Sometimes you'll find them bedded in like that. See if I can slide him around. Sometimes you can actually slide them around before they take off. <laughs> there he goes, y'all. Like I said, guys, I apologize about the water clarity. Nothing I can really do about it, but I always try to find the clearest areas I can find for footage. Because you can see a lot better in person than you can see through that camera. And it's a whole lot easier with two people if you're bow fishing for flounder. That way the other person can take the gig and hold you in position and let you get a good shot. It's pretty challenging by yourself. Alright guys, in this darker stained water, 
you know there's some key things you need to pick up on we got a falling tide so typically the flounder will be facing out with his tail to the bank and facing out uh, and any place see there here we're coming up on a drain those little drains that come out are really good spots for flounder they really like those spots so I'm gonna be looking real close and real hard in this area and with a falling tide a lot of times they're facing pointed out and that's things to look for there's one right there guys right there right there head facing out boom there we go flounder number nine I shot him a little bit further back than I wanted to but that's that was picture perfect as far as location and the way he there's another one right there he's a legal fish that's a good thing you need to look for any drains on the falling tide they love getting around those because the bait fish come out all right flounder number nine probably another yep 14 and a half 15 yeah he's right at 15 I got to fix that light all right one more to go getting in redfish territory now out here in these shallow little flats like this most of the time they are wide open you can't hardly ever get a shot on them you flounder along uh, deeper grass lines they think they're protected there's one right there oh which way to go He went on up in here somewhere. That ain't him, that's a small one. This one was a good one. There he is right there, guys. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ha ha ha! Woo! Look at that thing cut up, y'all. Woo-hoo! Come on, boy! Woo, come on! Wind some line in. All right, come on in the boat. There we go. Good old redfish on the bow. Good shot. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, boy. 20, 25 inch guys. Yep, 25 inch redfish. Mm. He got a little weight to him. Nine flounder <clears throat> and a redfish. <clears throat> Putting together a box of fish, y'all. Let's get that one more flounder and go to the house. That's another flounder there, guys. I'm gonna let him go. About 14. Facing out. They do that most of the time with this falling tide. And that's typically in places that doesn't have any current. If it's just a straight, flat beach like we're on now, incoming tide, head's normally facing the hill. Outgoing tide, head's facing the deeper water. Now, if you're in a cut somewhere where it's got current flowing, 
and generally their their head is facing upstream and if you mentally think about that it will help you be able to spot them a little bit better because there's one right there uh, we're gonna let him go I want one a little bit bigger for the last one. There's another one. Guys, they are everywhere out here tonight. I just want to get one a little bit bigger for that last one. Now we're going to take him right there. Flounder 10. Flounder number 10. There we go, guys. Flounder number 10. There we go. 16... 16 and a quarter, 16 and a half. Guys, that is flounder number 10. We got five flounder with a gig, five flounder with a bow, and a nice 25 inch redfish, y'all. All right, fellas, there you have it, another meat haul. We got five flounder that was gigged, five shot with a bow, and a redfish, guys. Guys, thanks for watching. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. And y'all don't forget about the new subscriber drawing. Every 100 subscribers, I do a drawing for a free fishing trip. Thank y'all, see you on the next one.